Okay, so this is my last video on uh, juicing my vegetables because it's going to get boring otherwise. And so, as you can see, I have what I could get. I don't have the fresh um, pineapples today where um, I may have something that I didn't have before. I have this time, I have plenty of, of um, spinach. I have the fresh kale. I got a nice big piece of ginger I'm going to throw in. Some uh, um, broccoli, which I rarely use, but it is part of the recipe, however. Apples, um, uh, carrots, and celery. So, I'm going to start juicing now. <clears throat> and you're going to see how fast this turns into a juice. In fact, I'm, not gonna, I'm gonna do something liquidy first before I do the kale. I didn't mean to pull that out. Okay, so I'm gonna, and it goes, this is not the best blender. I got the same brand before, it was better than this one. So all blenders are not the same or whatever juicers. Um, the, the, this is not as good as the other one, although it's the same brand. Okay, here we go. <laughs> But this time, huh? And it cut it small enough that you can guess what happens. And we don't cut it into small enough pieces. You gotta assist the juicer. You can't expect, you know, the motor to be perfect. Okay, so I want you to see how I insert it because this is what makes it go fast. Okay. No cutting. Whatever is cut is already cut. No more to break it, but I don't feel like cutting it. Last but not least. Done. Okay. So, in the end, I tilt it over to make sure I have all of the juice. See, tilt it over. I use something with a wide mouth. That's why I'm using this. Is really a uh, coffee. Uh, what are you? <laughs> a filter, right? It is a French, whatever you call it. But I need something with a big mouth always to do this. Okay. So here we go. Now, I'm on an empty stomach. 
Remember that. That's key. Pop in the straw and drink it immediately while the enzymes are still alive. One, two, three. Here we go. Ah, see you going down. Whew. One, two, three. Here we go. Right? Woo! So, cleaning is really easy. You really think it's not, but it is. Right? What I do, I want to get the camera down on the sink so you can see how easy it is to clean, okay? So, what I do is, I already drank it. See how fast that was? Down. Down, baby, down. Okay, so I wipe this out right with a bag. Grab it all, right? This is gonna feed my little groundhogs. Yeah, I know people you can hate hate or love them, right? I, I've done both. So now I'm going to pop this down. Take this clear the rim here. Why let it go to waste, right? I mean, at the beginning, the animals didn't like it. Now, eventually, little by little, they eat it. Last year, there was one little groundhog baby that's probably big now. It's probably still in my yard. He used to eat it all. I, I filmed him actually. Well, I lost all the films. I have a lot of stuff that I did in the kitchen that got lost. I just wasn't. I should have uploaded them to YouTube instead of to photos so you see how packed that is I'm packing it see packing it and so a lot of it that's why I said this one's not as good as the other one I had I see pieces here where my other juicer never did that and it's the same brand same model uh, it's not the most expensive I only paid $18 for it so I can't complain right so this is going to the animals. Okay? So watch how easy it is to clean this. Okay? Take this out for now. Okay. Line it all up. Line it all up. Okay, so... I already used my water. Yep, if you think I don't, now you see that I am. You know why? Because I pay for my water. Whatever I throw here washes out the rest of it in the bottom. And gets the job done a lot faster. Right, so I used to not brush this with the other one. I never should have thrown it out. Well, then again, the motor did die, but it was spare parts. I should have kept it for spare parts. So I never use the brushes. It takes two seconds to brush. Only two seconds. So, I forgot about this one. Normally I do that on top of the other ones and it all they all wash themselves. We're using the same water. So if you live in a RV, even you could do this. Actually it's even easier because you could do it outside. I will do it over a pail, right? So, here we go, right? Just losing the water, even though this one's dirty. It's all done, see? And it doesn't leave this thing when I use this for coffee. As long as you brush things, make sure you get all the residue out. You're really not going to have a problem with the aftertaste. I used to have a problem with the aftertaste because I wasn't washing it good enough. So see, um, I'm throwing this over this, you know. Everything has to be well washed. 
Yeah, see, everything's already ready, ready for the next use. Yeah, I'm just going to let it dry now. That's all. Just going to take up a little space. You know? Take up a little space. That's all. be living in an RV and still it's easy enough to wash. See? One, two, three. It just takes room until it dries. Then you put it away, right? I reassemble the machine. That's all. I reassemble the machine. Two seconds. I did make a spill here, which I never do. I guess it's because I'm recording. A little spill. And see, it's all done. It's all done. Voila. Voila. You see that? Even little girls getting cleaned off with, with the extra water, right? Even the little froey. The little fro is already cleaned up. See? That's all. Good to use the fro girl. Okay? Very good to use. She comes in handy. When I bought her, I didn't use her. I didn't find use for her. <laughs> Boy, is there a lot of use for her now. Okay, we're good. So now, I'm going off to take and feed this to the animals. Okay, so, even the birds probably come in and take a little dib and they all get nourished, right? <laughs> Why not? Why not? There we go. Why not? Let the animals enjoy nature too, right? See, the pieces weren't really well juiced. I'm not really happy with this machine, but the animals get to get the better part of it. Thank you for watching.